Today, I'm going to show you how to convert almost any dumb device to a smart one for dirt cheap using just two items for under $10. The secret is using this octo coupler. Here's a dime and Lego piece for size comparison. I don't know why nobody is covering this topic, so when I stumbled upon it, I knew its potential. There are four pins on this chip looking thingy. The left two pins are voltage pins. They need 3 volts DC input. Polarity does matter, so if for some reason you put it on the wrong polarity, then just swap the two wires around. The pin nearest to the indented circle is the positive, and the bottom is negative. The other two pins on the right hand side is basically a bridge. By default, the circuit is open, but when voltage input is applied on the left, then the circuit closes on the right. The next component we need is a door sensor. We're going to be using this Aquara door sensor. It works via the Zigbee protocol, but any door sensor will do the job. I like this Aquara just because the battery seems to last forever, and it is very small. On the flip side, I also don't like it because it is too small, so soldering the octocoupler on is not easy. It's not impossible, but it's not easy just because I'm not good at that. I had to use this soldering station kit to help me out. Door sensors work with a magnet. Whenever a magnet is nearby, it closes the circuit and sends out the alerts via the Zigbee protocol. My home assistant's smart hub receives the alerts and acts accordingly from there. With the octocoupler and the door sensor, we can virtually make anything that emits light or make a sound instantly smart. As soon as the device sends out a voltage for the light or sound, the octocoupler gets the voltage to close the circuit. In our setup, this closes the circuit of the door sensor and sends out an alert for our hub to execute the automations. I hope you are excited as I am seeing where this is going. Alright, no more talk, let's do something with this knowledge. Here's a simple example on making a dumb toaster to a smarter one. Previously, I showed you how to remove the speaker from this air fryer. It was insanely loud. Since crushing the speaker right here, I kind of miss getting the notification that my food is done. I don't always stand near the toaster oven to know when it's done. Here you can see that the speaker is gone, but the two contact points are still there. Here are the two contact points for the speakers in the back of the motherboard. And I'm just going to solder two wires onto them. For this source sensor, there is no screw. You need a mini ice pick to separate all the plastic casing away to get to the bare circuit board. On this side is the reed switch itself, right here. Some people remove it by crushing it. You can if you want. I'm keeping the reed switch as is and soldering the two wires we need directly on. For the octocoupler, we need to solder on four wires. Two of these we will connect later to the toaster, and the other two will go directly into the door sensor. The two contact points are here and here. Once again, when this side gets voltages from the toaster, it will close the circuit right here, hence the door sensor will send an alert. Once all is said and done, this is what you should have. I use DuPont connectors just because they're so easy to connect and disconnect. As of now, I have no idea which of these two wires from the toaster is positive and negative. So go ahead and turn on the toaster and throw some chicken wings in there. When the toaster is done, it will send a voltage to the octocoupler and the door sensor will send the alert as close. If we don't get a close signal, then just swap these two wires and it should work. And if for some reason it still doesn't work, then maybe the voltage is too low. Remember, we need at least 3 volt DC input to the octocoupler. Off the top of my head, I can see how you can make dumb doorbells smarter. These usually emit both light and sound when someone rings the doorbell, right? Then there are hardwire smoke detectors. Perfect use of this octocoupler to make dumb smoke detectors a lot smarter. I'm curious what you guys will be using this octocoupler for. Please let me know in the comment section below. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.